Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving a disaster situation, which is really kind of a full-blown disaster campaign as well. So this campaign is about to absolutely crumble from every direction, because this guy has made colossal mistakes left, right, and center. This is not just like one or two mistakes, it's like everywhere. <laughs> so playing as Clan Scryer on legendary difficulty, max difficulty, um, Ikaclaw is out on the water here, and there is just like buttloads of high elves, like high tier stuff. There, even though he's got like a weapons team army, he, he can't win that because one thing, the maps out in the water are really bad for Skaven weapon team's army. They, they can't win in situations other than just one on one armies. So he never should have come out in the water because for one thing you can't ambush out in the water as well. But luckily, he's fairly close to the coastline here. I could get him up here if we can clear out some of these armies. He won't be able to get up there right now. We've got another army here, so we could maybe sort that out, but we'll have to do a bit of finagling. Now, just doing a bit more overview of this situation, like, there is so many problems here. If you ever look diplomatically, he's got low reliability, which playing a Skaven, you might be thinking, oh, yeah, but it's law-friendly to do that. But from a gameplay perspective, it's really dumb to do this, because if you're playing as a faction that is hated universally, what this does is cause other factions to start declaring war on you. This is basically a big declare war on player uh, effect. So you really want to keep your reliability high until you're like strength ranking one because the AI is also cowardly, which you are definitely not strength ranking one. Now, if you're going to have low, low reliability, probably not a good idea to go and meet some of the most aggressive factions in the game, which like he sent a warlock engineer to set up an undercity here. And in return, Ulthuan is basically migrating over to Estalia, so I'm sure that worked out really well for you. Uh, in addition to that, his army over here is... Yeah, I'm not fond of it, to be honest. And he's sending heroes out to, like, go and meet other people. Uh, no! Don't do that! They're gonna declare war on you, and they will travel halfway across the map to kill you. So, no, we need to put a stop to the dumb decisions that have been going on here and try to turn this campaign around. This is not going to be a quick effort. Um, there's a lot of stuff we got to deal with because, like, there's a ton of armies here. That's, the, that's actually the least of our problems. you got army over here, which is Tyrion, by the way. You've got armies down here that are about to invade with nearly no defenses in most of these settlements, so that's all great. So, lots of problems. Lots and lots of big problems. All right, but let's start with this problem here, and then we'll work our way around. Uh, we've also got no noose available, so that's great. All right. What we could do is potentially, if we can focus on ambushing as much as possible, because um, that is a huge benefit if you can ambush it. It gives you a big auto-resolve power. Uh, the reason why we want to be auto-resolving is because there's so many armies, we need to make sure we actually catch them all. If we fight a battle manually, we don't always wipe them out. And also, sometimes with auto-resolve, um, you actually end up getting better results than what you can get manually, uh, especially if you're using trash units like this. So what we want to do firstly, just merge some of them and have a look at Regiments of Renown. He's got a lot of Regiments of Renown in his standing armies, which this is why I don't do that. Because in emergency situations, which this is an emergency, um, you can hire a lot of really good units that perform well in auto resolve. Um, we've got six units available here, so we need to make room for six of them here. So let's get rid of all the Skaven Slave Slingers. Because they perform badly in order resolve. Yep, get all those. Got 20 units. Awesome. Don't worry too much about leveling that up. How have you gone with... Yep, okay, that's good. Alright, let us ambush the one with Force March. Because that will be higher chance of success. But if we don't succeed, you can just back off and try again. But it succeeded. And as you can see here, the really great order resolve. Because that is not a bad army at all. Considering we're using mostly trash, that is really good results. And also, with an ambush, it like really widens your like zone of control, so you get to bring in reinforcements that are a bit further away. So, easy order resolve here. Let's chuck it down and get rid of one of the many armies. Okay, and we're probably going to want replenishment. Okay, now by doing that, it moves these guys out of the way a little bit. And I reckon we could land Ikaclaw, because yeah, he cannot survive this turn out in the water. No way in hell. On legendary difficulty, there's always a pause after every battle because it's got to save. All right, you can't just land, you've got to make the attack. There we go. Also, another thing is that we shouldn't be on Doom Wheels, we should be on Doom Flayers. They're better. 
Not necessarily better in auto resolve, but they are just better. Um, you've also got these guys on plague furnaces. Normally, I like they. Are, it is a good mount. It depends on the situation. This will save us some money because I notice your finances aren't fantastic, and I feel like it's going to cost a lot to get us out of the situation. Um, also, Bill Barley definitely going to get sacked over the intern, so let's not waste money on that. Um, because yeah, let's be real. That's we can't move Vicaclaw over here to defend it, and this is not a good army for defending cities. You shouldn't put your weapon team's army for defending them, and you didn't build defenses here, so just don't bother. You got heaps of food, so let it get taken and uh, just bring it back up to tier five. Okay, and then we got to ambush this. So I think it's sixty percent chance. All right, so we didn't ambush that time, so that's a pretty bad order resolve. But just back off, and every time it saves, it re-rolls the chances. Come on, you can do it. Okay. So if you have a look here, it says ambush success chance 60%. Just try again. Cool, there we go. Much better auto resolve. Much, much better. And this also saves us a lot of time, because there's a lot of battles that we need to fight. And if I, if I fight every single one of these battles manually, this will end up being six hour live stream, I just don't have time for that. Okay. Especially considering, like, I don't think I would have done better than this. Especially considering the difficulty and the units that they're bringing in. Uh, maybe not so much against this army, that's not that big of a deal. Ike Claw could have ripped it to shreds. Uh, yeah, we should probably go with replenishment. And then, yeah, finish that job there. Not ambushed that time. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This army is nothing. But an ambush would be better. We've still got movement, and we need to keep him close to Ikaclaw, or else we put Ikaclaw at risk. Ikaclaw, well, any of these sort of weapons team army, as I've said so many times before, you need to make sure you're the attacker. Being the defender is a disadvantage with these kind of armies. And so what we need to do is deter them from making the attack, but try to encourage them to actually land here. I want them to land here, I just don't want them to... <laughs> I don't want them to attack us. Not my miscalculation. No, no. Okay, if I don't succeed with an ambush this time, I'll just have to fight it. Okay, cool. We got the ambush. Alright, get the replenishment there. Cool. Okay. So that cleared out a few armies. It's a good start, but we're hardly done yet. Alright, you stay close to Ikaclaw, but don't go near Bill Barley, because that yeah, is not a place where you want to be. And I think what we should do here is merge these guys and just re-recruit some more Skaven slaves. Yeah, I mean, we lose experience to this, but it doesn't matter. We just, we just got to pump our numbers up quickly. With whatever we can. Machines and that sorcery! Cool, bit of leveling up. It's good. Knows who is okay, you want to make sure you got Howling Warp Gale. I can't believe you didn't get that. No malice detected. Especially considering the High Elves are coming. You, you want to be able to stop these ones from moving. And if you've got multiple characters with high, Howling Warp Gale, and you micro it well enough, you can really make sure they just they don't Stay go near you. Right. In this right. Then, Claw could get extra hit points. I don't think you have to worry about spell resistance too much. Fire resistance, maybe. Missile resistance, maybe. Could make his army a little bit stronger. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, not that Howling Warp Gale. And. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's good. Alright. So, what I reckon will happen is that they'll actually sack the settlement. I reckon Attain will sack it, because 
if we've got a lot of force over here, they'll recognize that we'll probably take it back off them. So they'll want to do damage to us by sacking it. Never. And also, if there's a lot of corruption, they have a tendency not to occupy. Now, it's hard to gauge. It's not guaranteed one way or another which what they're going to do. But I think it's most likely that they're going to um, sack it. Anyway, we're done with that for now. Let's move some of these heroes around. Yeah, we've got these ones. Yeah, I did that. Okay, now this army over here. Um, I am not fond of this army whatsoever. So what I want to do is bring it over to here and make it better. Make it a lot better. Because this is just... This is basically someone going, random units, just spam random units in their army. There's no rhyme or... It's just, it's just not a good army, right? Um, and right now we really need strong armies. Also, we just got four warp fuel. Uh, oh, Doom Rocket! 21 gigawatts. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Okay, so over here, I'm going to transfer the units into this one. We've already got a Poison Wind Mortar, so two is enough. Then let's get some Rattling Guns. Let's get four of them. Actually, get another Plague Claw Catapult. Then, since that's going to be transferred five units in here, I'm going to get rid of this... No, don't get rid of that one. This one here. And all of the storm vermin. Yeah, be gone. Don't want you. <laughs> Not gonna use you. Okay, then heroes. We're gonna have a look. Yeah, we'll get one of these. We'll get both of these. Because the thing is, with those storm vermin, for one thing, most of the the true threat that's coming at us, they're mostly large units. So at the very least, get the. Um, the Halberd variant. Yeah, you're definitely gonna want that. Okay. So, yeah, we'll transfer these guys in here, and that'll make the army, in my opinion, a lot better. Also want to get rid of this one, but I'll figure it out as we go. Because, yeah, Tyrion's probably gonna be making his way over to something over here, we'll see. Um, okay, now, as for construction, we need to make sure we're building up some defenses in certain areas. Uh, increasing our income will probably be a good idea in some locations. Don't bother about these two settlements. I'm not going to bother. Um, get rid of this. We'll put defenses there instead. Um, Karak Izor. Well, in two turns, we'll have extra slots there. We should try to build defenses. It does make a big difference with the major settlements. Not so much with the minor settlements, because here's the thing. In Warhammer 2, the main reason why you would build defenses in the minor settlement was one thing, warp bomb. But another thing is it built walls. Now, it doesn't build walls anymore in Warhammer 3. It's a minor settlement battle. Now, the reason why walls were good is because it gave you time to constantly sally out. Because the AO, they would besiege the settlement, but they wouldn't always assault. Um, and it gave you time to annoy them, grind them down, destroy their units with warp bombs and just general shenanigans. But now, they besiege the settlement and immediately attack. And the garrison that you get from this, it's all just dog shit. Uh, it's just not really going to help that much. But in ma major settlements it does. It's very difficult, or way more difficult in Warhammer 3 to defend your minor settlements than it was in Warhammer 2. It's possible. It's possible for sure. But the way you defend your settlements is by making sure your armies are capable. Yeah, you keep that on there. Um... Just having a look at the edicts, making sure you're generating food. Yep, that's what you should be doing. Although you're pretty good for food. Alright, we've got these over here. I don't think any of these is necessary. It's not going to increase our ambush success chance. Also, Clan Scryer Clanstone is garbage. It's not a good one. Alright, I think I've done everything I can. Let's have a look for diplomacy. Even though it's got low reliability, sometimes you might find something. Uh, look at this. I reckon we could have done that. Yeah, if you were trustworthy, you could get you could get something going with um, Vlad. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me let me try something actually. If I were to go to war with Zafbar, can I get them to go to war with Karakirin? No. All right. Let's just let's just wait a little bit because the trustworthiness will improve every single turn. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hang on, I wasn't done with that yet. What of the <coughs> Why were you at war with the Deceivers? <laughs> yeah, just get some money out of them for it. Also, the more wars you're in, the more likely other factions will declare war on you. So we need to reduce the number of wars that we're in right now. 
Okay, I think I've done everything I can. Let me just turn that off. Yeah, sent the freaking guy to go meet them. All right, and let's just see how this end turn plays out. Now, next turn, Ikaclaw is likely not going to have full movement because when you disembark when you had no movement left anyway, you're likely borrowing quite a bit of movement from your next turn. So you just got to be mindful of that. Yeah, we knew this was going to happen. Can't win this battle. There's no hope in hell. Good, they sacked it. That is awesome. They would have used up all their movement doing that, and so now they're vulnerable to get attacked. Would have been great if that one would land as well. The, honestly, the more armies that are in that concentration, the better, because we can ambush them. But yeah, that army there is dead, I think. Okay, so Tyrion is... Yeah, okay, he's doing this. Alright. What are they doing? I was hoping they'd land. Because the thing is, Ikaclaw's army is strong enough that if they're out in, on land, I could probably beat them and not even really take any serious damage. And if we can clear this area out of all enemies, we can abandon Bilbali and build it up to tier 5. There's also a carcass on here as well. But yeah, a lot of mistakes were made in this campaign for this to occur. The thing is, you can totally run it like a This Is Total War campaign as Zikaclaw. I've done it before. Um, but you really do need to build good armies so that you can basically fight battle after battle after battle and not take any serious damage. And so having the the traditional, well, the, the weapons team army that has... A lot of rattling guns, a lot of um, Gisales, Plague Claw catapults, and also Plague Priests, and make sure you've always got lots of wins of magic, is essential for doing that. Right, I'm going to put enemies on fastest, heroes off, and neutral factions off and off. Speed things up a bit. Mm, more problems. Alright. Well, it's a new day. Let's see what we can do. Alright, this army here has got to get refitted with some better stuff, so come over to here, and let's put you in ambush dance. Also, take him off the plague furnace. Sorry, the screaming bell, because that'll save a little bit of money. Wait, did it? Hmm, actually didn't. Actually, you know what? Put him on that. <laughs> okay. Chuck them in there. Now they're low level, so they're not going to be able to provide much value to begin with, but we'll just, you know, level them up and they'll get better. Okay, we transfer these five units in. Good, and the army is much better. So we, what we do is we hide our force here. Maybe Tyrion will come charging in over this way. Maybe they'll come up through here. Maybe, we'll see. And you keep recruiting. So what do we next need in this army? I want to get rid of the Doom Wheel, because it's more expensive than Rattling Guns. We need some Gisales. Uh, I also want to get rid of the Poison Wind Globideers and Bombardiers, just because they're short range, and long range is the way to go. Don't get me wrong, I think that those units are fine. I just think the Gisales are better, that's all. And... How about we get another Rattling Gun? Now we've got four and four, that's how I like it. Okay. Good. Okay, we want to get defenses up in here. Because, yeah, you'll get higher quality units from this, like Plague Claw Counterpults and Storm Vermin. Way better at defending the settlements. With the minor settlements, you just get Clan Rats. It's just real shit. Look, if they're not moving anywhere, then that's fine. Also, let's have a look here to see if... Ooh, okay. 
cunning. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna put you for my own campaigns. Because <laughs> I always need a lot of them. And level one's good because that way you're not paying extra for them. Alright, now. Ikaclaw has spent some of his turns movement. I'm going to send Ikaclaw to go and attack this because this army needs a little bit more replenishment. Yeah, and Ikaclaw can handle this easily, assuming we ambush it. 60% chance. Yeah, we'll see. My way. Come on, ambush, ambush. Nice. Okay, well, it does say that we'll take medium casualties, but that's probably because of this. We're at maximum food, so I might as well pop these down. Because this will just... This will improve our order resolves slightly. Okay, that damage is fine, and we'll get a decent amount of recovery by hitting that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's a Tain kicked out of that area, but obviously Ivress are still just waiting for a good opportunity to strike. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. What do I want to do? Okay, I want to move to... Yeah, to here. Same Bill Bali. Yep. And I want you to go into ambush stance, also in Bill Bali. Yeah, not in Montanas. So we'll see what happens here. There's three options for him. Well, actually, there's four. He'll either run back over here, which I don't think he'll do that. He'll either sack or occupy Montanas. He'll either sack or occupy Magrida, or he'll force march over here, at which point we've got a good opportunity to ambush him. And this army should be able to handle him now, although we're not going to have the mass amounts of Vermintide with that yet. But we'll have some additional forces here. If we ambush him, it should be an order resolve win. Like, ambushes are so good for order resolve <laughs> even on very hard battle difficulty. You know, assuming you don't ambush with garbage. Alright, so with Ica Claw, I think he could use a little bit of extra health. That would always come in handy. Oh, hey, well, uh, no, hang on a second. <laughs> you gotta get the Howling Warp Gale in there. Come on. Come on, I missed that. Because, yeah, we want to reduce the cooldown. You gotta keep casting that. It's a cheap spell. Okay, and. Plague is a good spell. You should really get that. That other army doesn't have a Warlock Engineer, and we really need as much campaign movement range as we can possibly get, so let's get this one over here. Would it be good if we had a cunning one show up? But let's get it over there and attach to him so that we can move around quickly. That's really bloody important. So, very curious to see what Ivress is going to do here. Because they'll see Ikaclaw. Um, don't abandon it just yet. Maybe I sh No, no, if I abandon it, I won't. No, I will get replenishment this turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I will. Okay, abandon it. Now. Because, yeah, push it up to tier 5 once... Once it's, um... Done. But, yeah, we don't want them occupying that, either. Because, uh, this, these armies are not great at walled city sieges. Not terrible at it. Just not great at it. And then, over here... Don't know what these guys are going to do. Like I said, I just can't be everywhere at once. We don't have the finances for it, so we're just going to have to make do. Alright, we've also got a scheme of doom that we should do. <laughs> doom. Alright, let's um, get this one out here. And get this one back over here. I reckon good places for undercities is actually forts. So maybe set one up over here. I mean, I did say you shouldn't discover any more factions, but you've already discovered everyone over here this way anyway. Okay. The only thing that we can here. Zaragzil's not really under threat. I'm just a little bit worried about spending loads of money because I feel like we're going to be in the negative real soon. I'm going to need every bit of mil uh, money that we've got just for military stuff. Alright. Uh, 
Let's just see how this goes. Alright, let me just check once again. There might be some trees we can do. Nope. Moving on. I reckon if we can fix up your reliability, which is just a matter of time, which I'm not going to have enough time to do. Um, but if you fix up your reliability, you could probably get a peace treaty with Clan Moors. Alright, what is Atain going to do? Oh, okay. Are they going to sack it, or are they going to occupy it? Kind of hoping to sack it, but occupying is not too bad either. Yeah, th if we fought this manually, I can't win that. I know when I can win and when I can't. I cannot win that. I already occupied it. Kind of hope that the garrison building was destroyed, because... What are they doing? Okay. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I kind of hope the garrison building was destroyed. Because otherwise there's a minor settlement battle, which just takes longer. A field battle would be easy. Obviously it would be way better for us to ambush him, but I can't ambush him inside, inside of the settlement. Okay, well that's good. Thanks to Ambush Stance. Now that is them being out on the water, which isn't ideal. It's much better if they're out on the land. However, them being in Force March will lower their bounce power. And we've got more than a full stack there, so we should be fine to just get rid of that. That's a lot of loyalty loss. I'll just, I'll just take money. Should have offered to dec declare war on them when I had the chance. Oh well, didn't know that was going to happen. Alright, so this army landed. Bilbali's gone. We got the replenishment. Yes, we did. We did replenish. Alright, this is what I reckon. You go over there, ambush this one, and then you force march back down here. I might be able to auto resolve it. So this army here will not be able to make it to Montanas. Okay. What happened here? They did get to keep that, okay. Channel fight clear. Yeah, you sh If we ambush it, it should be an easy order resolve for you. And this is just our rubbish army. Any units that get wiped out, just replace it with more regiments and re renown or more shit. Yeah, that's fine. Like, honestly, fighting that battle manually without an ambush, I probably would lose. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with those results. Alright, let's go with more money. We're at max food. Should have enough movement to get back. If these guys want to ruin dwell that, that's fine. Yep, we can make it over here. So you go do that. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, Tyrion occupied that. Good. Alright. That unit there will get wiped out, but that's okay. It's just Regiment of Renown. Yep, do it. It's fine. Alright, there's no one that can attack us here this turn. So, we're fine to build this back up to Tier 3. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, Ikaclaw's army is not that damaged, but his army is way more important than this one, so... I wouldn't worry about replacing anything. Okay, hang on. Alright, so we're, we're cleaning things up a bit. Power. Don't worry about building this back up just yet. Uh, actually, no, let's, let's do that. It's not going to cost that much, and we should be able to protect it. Because, you know, Tyrion will take a while to get back here. They've only, Attain has only got one army here. And if they come at us, well, then they'll take them a while to get here as well. And it was only 40 food, no big deal. 
All right, now over here, let's get these heroes in as well. That, that'll work. Channeling play. So they can get ex extra experience. Good, I wanted to get rid of the Doom Wheel anyway. <laughs> so good. Good, that's fine. Yeah, shit and auto resolve if you're gonna be the only one to die. Okay. Alright, we'll take replenishment, because taking that one out, we're still not done with Rapunzel, or other armies threatening Lucini. We gotta to try to intercept them. Alright, and also. Get rid of. No, Doom Flayers are alright. Get rid of these. What about the other plague? Okay, we need one more for that. Get rid of the Regiment of Renown. And then transfer these in there. Good. Full stack. Okay. Honestly, this is pretty close to what I build as a Doom stack. How's the Winds of Magic here? Weak. That's not good. We rely very heavily on Winds of Magic. Hmm. It's tempestuous here. So Rapunz will probably sack that. Or occupy it. <laughs> One of the two. Alright, yeah, no. Even with low Winds of Magic, we've got to get over here. Uh, we definitely shouldn't be out in the water. That'll give her the advantage. So just stop off at Maragliano. That way we'll get plenty of replenishment. That's unfortunate. And then, as for this one here... Let's get rid of you. Don't recruit anymore. Just um, see you later. Okay. Alright. That army is much better. But Legend, what if he didn't like that? Well, you can always replace it back. I fixed this friggin' situation a bit so far. Alright. Alright. Let's have a look here. When do we get another Doom Rocket for him? Three turns. Would be good if you could get extra chance on it. Yeah, let's get to that. Alright, Ikaclaw will be mostly at full strength next turn. So this one is coming into here to attach to this one. Alright, Ikaclaw is getting pretty good replenishment even without that. This one here really does need a bit more. And then just um, go with that one. And then, yeah, you definitely want to increase your capacity for heroes. So pop that in there. Wait, can you also do that with this? Yeah, you can. Just as a much more expensive building. That only provides 80 income, where this is providing 160. And you kind of need a bit more money. Although, financial situation's improved a little bit, because we were in the red. Just had to do a bit of shifting around. Let me check here to see if there's anything more interesting. Assassins can be really good for scouting. I would highly recommend getting one, even if you don't attach it into your army. Just really good for scouting, because they're very cheap upkeep. And if you can get them with cunning, that's even better. Alright, so yeah. She'll come in here and she'll do some damage. Hopefully we can stop her before she gets the Sartosa. However, if she gets the Sartosa, we'll just pump it up to tier 5. <laughs> We've got enough food. Okay. So hopefully these guys here will land. I don't think they'll ruin Dwell that because they won't get the walls built there right away and that gives us an opportunity to attack them. Where are my schematics? How dare you? If we could just clear out these here, then I'll, I can justify upgrading this. But while it's under threat, I can't justify it. Alright. Got a good amount of money in the treasury, so that's good. Okay, and at the vaults, this has been built, so we can justify building that. Alright, not sure where that army's going. It doesn't look like it's going towards us. Hmm. 
Hmm, he doesn't like me anymore. Probably because we peace out with the other one. Oh, this guy's basically becoming the Empire. Being friends with Vlad wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, you could be friends with him and you give him Karak Eyes or I don't know if that's really worth it. So building this to be good is really good to get Lord Recruit rank plus one. Let's assume that we're actually going to hold on to this. And then you want to be increasing your capacity for heroes. But again, how how well can we hold on to this? That's all. I'm, I'm assuming you're going to hold on to it. So let's, let's get that going. You want to get many um, Warlock Engineers, especially playing Clan Scryer. Get that going. Get that going. Honestly, yeah, you should really be focusing on getting your hero capacity up. Yeah, same thing here. Alright. Well, I think we've done everything that we can. Let's see. We've got a few levels up we can distribute. That's look what you could have gotten. Oh, but he doesn't have any of those units in his army. And I guess you can always just um, respec him. <laughs> so that's actually maybe not so bad. That's good. That's really good. And it could. Engineer. You could reduce his upkeep cost a little bit. Yeah, that'd be good, because finances... Yeah, that'll save us a lot of money in the long run. And it did look like that's what he was going down. You can always respec him if that's not what you wanted. Yeah, make sure you get Plague. That is a really damn good spell, especially for Sieges. Alright. Good, getting above 100 Winds of Magic gives you loads of Vermintides to use. And we've still got some leveling over here to do. This guy's got his ambush sorted. That's good. So you don't need to go down lightning strike. You really don't. Um, yeah, look at this. He was going with Blastmaster with this. And he had Storm Vermin in his army. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, you should def... Oh, but he was also going... Re oh, okay. Well, now that makes sense. <laughs> so I got rid of all the units that that was benefiting. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, get that. And these ones here, make sure that they've got access to Vermintides. Problem here, though, is lack of Winds of Magic. So maybe we should give them some items that give them some Winds of Magic generation. Assuming you've got any. Oh, I should have been equipping some of that whenever we're doing an ambush. Okay, good to know that we've got that. Forbidden Rod. Yep. I've only got one of them. That'll give you a little bit of Winds of Magic. Crown of Command. Actually, Crown of Command, that can be really useful. Because that'll make your dudes unbreakable. Making them a little bit more useful. You can also rely on the um, the Menace Belows. Because this should have loads of scaling corruption. Yep, okay. Alright. Alright, looks like we can reach Nuja next turn. And I don't think that army's going to be as dangerous as Ikit Claws. Uh, for Tyrians. And looking at their strength ranking, they'll probably be sending another army here fairly soon. <laughs> They're probably just going to keep sending armies at you. I wonder if the Dark... I don't think the Dark Elves will be wiped out by now, so... Let me check over here. Marathi's definitely gone. But yeah, if we have a look over here... Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, it doesn't seem like Malekith is going to invade the Dark Elves there. Uh, uh, Malekith is going to invade Ulthwan. <laughs> you can't rely on them in this campaign. You'll have to do it yourself, which means you'll probably have to invade Ulthwan, which... Because otherwise they're just never going to peace out with you. It's going to keep sending better and better armies. Alright. Forgot about them. Wow. 
But things are starting to calm down now. It doesn't feel that much like a disaster. Come on, land already. Or at least Bill Bali is safe. So I could send the other army to go and ruin dwell it. Here's an interesting thing here. It would be better for me to not ambush that army. Yeah. Yeah, that one's just looking for easy pickings. Ah, oh, great. So that one's going to Karak. Yeah, we knew that was happening. There's nothing we can do here to stop this. It's too strong. Okay, good. She sacked it. That's good. And she would have used up a lot of her movement in doing that because she landed. And there's only a tier 2 settlement, so no big deal. Good. 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 Yeah, if Scrag can take that out, that'd be good because we're not war with him. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh my god. Research monstrous abominations. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. Because, yeah, if we have a look, your research rate is 163%. You can make it a 1000% if you research this. You should prioritize getting that first. Mm. So I've got a choice here. I can either defend Karak Buftar. We've probably got enough money that we could recruit a couple of units here to deal with this. Because that's, that's actually not very much. They'll probably send in some more, though. You come down here. It should take them more than a turn to get there. Let me see if Arg will... They're not going to do this, but let me just see if they'll... No, they've, they've got military access. Yeah, they're not going to listen to us. Fair enough. Don't blame them. Right, I think what we do here, going to Ambush Dance... Yeah, get into the forest here. Ooh. You gotta be careful because if, if she attacks Riff Raffa and we don't win an order resolve, we come in as reinforcements and it could be at a really awkward angle. This is why, as I've said, it's so good to be the attacker. She's probably gonna sack this and then try to hit that. Like, it would be better if we were just sitting in here. But then she'll run away. She'll run off. We need to catch her now. Or, or, we do catch her now by doing this. But Legend, you can't attack. Wanna bet? Oh wait, I don't think we can ambush. That way. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're still able to fight. Oh, damn it. How bad's the damage? Okay. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back off. Yeah, when we're sitting inside the settlement like that, you can't actually ambush. So what I actually need to do is stand outside the settlement and then attack. Because it doesn't use up any movement to do that. Yeah! Okay, and that way, nobody gets wiped out. See your opponents. Nice! Alright, that deals with that. Awesome. This is why it's important to have a lot of characters ready with, with high ambush success chance. And you get some research rate out of that, so that's nice. So this guy here... Just in future, make sure he's ready for, for ambushing. Oh, then I'm going to just spec him anyway. So he's back in three turns. Okay, cool. Can we peace out with him? No. No. Okay. Stay with right. Greatest, best inventor. 
Okay, so we could send this one back up to Bilbali to occupy that. Let me just make sure there's no other armies here. No, there isn't. That's good. Okay, yeah, because Ikaclaw can handle this on his own now. Send this one to Bilbali to Ruin Dweller, because we're at max food now. There we go. And from tier 3 to tier 5. It was as if we never lost it at all. But we need to get this stuff built quickly. Good thing this guy here has the uh, engineer to reduce construction time and costs. Alright, this time, don't lose it. Okay, if this, if this is built on its own, you're going to have a much easier time defending it. Then, yeah, make sure we got the food. Because obviously we've lost a fair bit there. And you're going to want this, and you want this, and you're also going to want to have um, increased capacity for certain heroes. Hmm. A lot of choices. I mean, these ones here are really the best ones for the type of armies that... These type yeah. of armies here. Yeah. You can always just change it if that's not what you wanted. Alright, now, for this here... What I was talking about was not ambushing this army. So if we have a look, our ambush success chance is 60%. But what we want to do is make sure we come at it from just the right angle. Progress. Yes. Yep, that's it. So they're coming in from us from the side. That's it. And we don't want to ambush this army. I know that seems weird. But we can guarantee that we're not going to ambush it. Right? by just pressing this. It doesn't use up any movement. Retreat. Now you might be sitting there, why don't you want to ambush it? Well, because we this army edge. here, right? This is absurd. If we, do, if we fight this army in here, they get to set up. They'll be right in front of us. But if we, am, if we fight this battle manually, right, not only will we get some time to generate some magic, I mean, so will they as well, but they're going to take like two minutes to come in, and we'll have time to set up some shenanigans for them. They're not going to come in organized. No, no, no. no, no ambush, please. <laughs> Where are my schematics? I said no ambush. Come on, 60%. It's like 50-50. <laughs> Normally I'd be pretty happy with these odds, but I actually don't want the ambush. I said no! Retreat. But Legend, maybe it's guaranteed. It's not. Okay, it said 60%. This guy doesn't have... He's not on Force March or anything. Yeah, 60%. It'll, it'll eventually not ambush. There we go. So if we have a look, actually, we can win that in order resolve. But then that gives Clan, uh, not Clan, um, Yvres a chance to smash us. We don't want that. We could do much better results than this with manually resolve. Let's do it. Oh my god, finally a battle. Alright, so what we want to be doing here, is, and also because we've got lightning strike, they're going to take longer to get into the battlefield. Because normally a battle begins, right, and you've only got a little bit of magic. And you just got to make do with it. But in this situation here, we'll have time to move up to this position here, which is a nice high ground. They'll come in disorganized and just rush straight at us. And Ica Claw should basically just be there waiting for them, going, ha ha ha, what are you going to do about it? Basically annoying them straight off the bat. And we should be able to get all their flying units to chase after us immediately and get killed. See, normally, they just rush at us from here. And even if we were standing back here, that's not the best defensive position. So it's actually, and sometimes it's better to not ambush than to ambush. But you gotta, it takes time to learn all of these different situations and know how to assess it. Actually, I should get the rattling guns to do it because they have unlimited ammunition, whereas the Gisales do not. All right, so... I'll just organize this how I want it. So don't fire at will to begin with. Put on a guard mode. And we'll have three minutes for them to come in, so plenty of time. Also, another thing is that when these guys come in, they're going to have a leadership debuff because this guy's going to be dead. And 
this gives us a great opportunity to just generate the winds of magic that we need. So I want to get in reasonably close, because we'll kill him just about instantly. But I don't want him getting out of range. <laughs> Good. All right, let's get into proper position. All right, we don't need to be at the top of the hill. There's no reason for that. The slope is better here. And then fire at will, await reinforcements, and you over there, you over there, you guys here. Control group one, two, three, and four. Okay. See, lots of magic being stored up. So there's lot, lots of little advantages to give us the edge here. Okay, here they come. Eat my shenanigans. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, this item sucks. Whatever. I try to lure them in as soon as possible. Oh, uh, they're not actually rushing towards us. They're kind of organizing a little bit first. Oh, no, no, no. They are. A little bit. All right, just be careful. They are sending guys around on this flank. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to see. No, don't bother. Same thing with you. Don't waste ammunition. No need to use... Actually, yeah, use it, because otherwise they're going to land. Bouncer power is actually in their favor. Their army's stronger than ours, even though the order resolve gave us a victory. Okay. I need you over here immediately. Okay, and I need... If it claw to do that immediately. Okay, good thing we got all these winds of magic. Time to use them. Pop this down over here. Annoy them. Okay, hang on, hang on. Maybe don't fight well just yet. Need to overcast that. Need them down for longer. Good, that one's down. Good, they're casting spells on summons. What a waste. And this is why we don't put them on the Plague Furnace. Okay, that's going to expire in five seconds. Make sure we pop it down again. Another overcasted. I really want them not going anywhere. Okay, now we bomb here. Okay. The artillery are not a big threat yet. See, this is, see I used up all my magic. Oh my god. Yeah, well, I think they got us with, like, some lightning, but apart from that, I don't think we actually took any damage. Apart from the damage that we actually took. And it should be a very easy order resolve to finish them off. And see, that's how you use the Skaven. Shenanigans. But it's not honorable! I think every single one of their flying units got wiped out. And 
And I think our post-battle loot options will allow us to basically replenish all of our casualties, so they're actually in better shape after the battle than we were before it. Alright, good. That'll do. What? <laughs> it's close victory. They got kind of close to your front line. So yeah, that extra three minutes giving us that extra Winds of Magic really allowed us to get those summons out there. Because normally I've got four Plague Priests, so I wouldn't have had to use the um, the Pestilent Birth for the, um, the Plague Monks. Also, we had the Crown of Command. I could have put that on them. Too late now. Not like I needed it. Yeah, this is one of the last invasion forces. All that's left now is really just Yvres, and that's very small force of Bretonia of Carcassonne that's coming through Athaloran. But this is no longer like imminent danger. All of our armies are in serious problems. You know, you've got two pretty good armies. If I do say so myself. I mean, I didn't make any adjustments to this. So I was happy with this one. Um, yeah, look at that replenishment. Nice. You got two pretty good armies for the two different fronts. I mean, they've got a lot of area to cover. This is this is not what I would call an army. This is an emergency piece of shit. I'd um can't really afford another army just yet. In terms of upkeep. Oh, there's also that army out in the water there. So that's an easy order resolve. Good. Now, I reckon for this one here, um, just loot and occupy it, leave it at tier 1, because this is probably where they're going to send the next load of invasion force. So don't waste food on this. Anyway, like I said, minor settlements are very difficult to hold on to. Save your, your food for the major settlements. All the settlements like this one we were... We were maxed out on food anyway, which is what's not the case here. So that one there, I don't think that she'll launch the attack on the Grita. And now that I feel like I can actually hold on to it, we will spend that money to upgrade it. As for Nuja, just forget about it. As for them, maybe they'll land, maybe they won't. Hard to say. Just, just don't know what they're going to do. All right. Yeah, we want to get Warp Smart. Nuts, it's taken 74 turns to get to that. Lester's Filth can also be quite handy. Sometimes. Okay, so this one was going to attach into this army here, because if I'm going to use it to run around, I might as well. Do that. Okay, tell you what we'll do. Get rid of all of the regiments of Renown now since we're not losing as, uh, as an emergency army. And that way it's getting time to replenish. So the next emergency that shows up, you're ready to deal with it at those Regiment of Renown as well. And just have this one be a giant pile of crap. For now. For now. And that saves us a ton of cash. And in 10 turns, they'll be ready again to be recruited. Okay, so this guy here. You could invade Fyrus with all the stuff here. And what we could probably do, because we've got more money freed up, we could recruit a small army at Karak Buftar to deal what with what's coming up this way. 16 units from here should be able to repel it. They're likely going to, to this region. Alright, so let's grab a... Probably a Warlock Master would be best. So you keep getting more Warp Fuel. And we're definitely going to want Ancient Cunning. And what do we got available here? Oh, look, Storm Vermin. But that take two turns to recruit. So screw that. Because um, they're going to be here within two turns. And since they have... Mm, they've got cavalry, but it's shit cavalry. So let's have a look here. Master what might be best is actually Skaven Slave Slingers. To 
deal with what's coming here. Hopefully Scrag defeats them and then just don't have to worry about them again. Alright. Let's have a look if we've got any deals we can make. Probably not. Nope. Quick. Because your reliability sucks. And yeah, send this one actually up here. Oh no, you've already got a scout there. Alright, whoops. Never mind. Oh no, no, you know what? Just keep going. I think you had another capacity for a... Oh no, we didn't. But there's other capacities. So there's chieftains. Or there's pack masters. Pack masters are good. Get some of them. Don't, get, don't go too heavy with it. Alright. And then this guy here, I'm just not sure what to do with him, because she's obviously looking for easy targets, so we kind of need to go into ambush dance if she comes down this way a bit more. Just have to wait and see, because, yeah, still on the defense. Alright. I think I've done everything I can. Some levels up over here that can be distributed. Uh, yeah, I think we should try to save a bit of cash so that you can make another army sooner. Yeah, this one's all good. Yeah, extra speed for your missile units is good as well. Good, extra ammunition. Good, yeah, that one lowering the speed by 10% for 5 seconds. Every time you cast, that's really good. Oh, I should have put it. No, I wasn't able to put in channeling stance because we had already force marched. But you got to generate some magic so that it's actually useful in a many of the resolve fight. Okay, and let's move on. But I'm feeling like this this isn't a disaster anymore. It's not like a campaign in like great shape. It's just gonna need to put in a bit of work and and really sort of clean things up from here. That's a bit iffy. Because obviously it's going to take a bit of time to recruit. Uh, and to build that, that building. We used up 120 food. I mean, we had max food anyway. And Ikit Claw won't be able to make it there in a single turn. And I'm recruiting nothing but trash because I got rid of the regiments of Renown. Didn't actually think they would do that. Once these units here are recruited, I don't think that army's going to attack. Good, don't worry about Karakirin anymore. So when we look at Bilbali, the base garrison's there. These armies are not that dangerous. And what you can do is actually stay in ambush stance out here. That way when they land, you immediately ambush them. No, no. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so we've got an opportunity here where we could force march if you claw here and then move that one around to launch the attack. However, you don't ambush, so you don't want to do that. All right. What we'll do is put Ikat claw here. They're not going to attack that. Yeah, just keep recruiting garbage. They're not going to attack. Call me me, death master. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't think this is a disaster campaign anymore. It's just a case of you just got to stay uh, di uh, diligent and stay on top of this. Make sure you build up your defenses and try to catch them any opportunity you can. These guys here are going to be cowards. They're just looking for low-hanging fruit. You've got to go into ambush dance and just get them to to make an attack. Same thing over here. It's just looking for low-hanging fruit. It's probably heading over to Tavaro. You could probably have this army go into ambush dance 
maybe lure it over here if that's what they're trying to do. Maybe put a lord here and go into ambush dance, although that one will detect us. Although their turn, if we have a look here, their turn comes after Carcassonne, so they'll make the movement and then this one will pull us out of ambush stance and then it'll be too late you can use the army from here to make the attack while this one force marches over there that could work your force over here should be able to repel that okay i don't feel like it's a disaster anymore i feel like the situation is just a campaign anyway that's in this one here guys hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something appreciate you and we'll see you next time later guys